Hey guys, hope you're well. So today is World's Chocolates Day. Who knew there's such thing in this world, right? But fret not because I'm gonna make something really cool today. I'm gonna do a fine dining style kind of dish using chocolate as one of my ingredients. Now let's get all started now. First thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna melt the chocolate. I'm using dark chocolate over here. I'm gonna put the chocolate into another saucepan. And then I'm gonna melt it on top of the water. Now our chocolate is fully melted. I'm gonna pour it back into this bowl I have. That's done. I'm gonna add our Maktuk sweet chili paste in there and give this a good mix. And to that chocolate sauce, I'm just gonna add a pinch of salt to it. Look at how beautiful it is. Now our chocolate sauce is done, let's make the accompaniments too. So over here I have winter melon. Now I'm just gonna use a tiny bit of winter melon over here because this is just gonna give it a nice, it's sort of like a crunch to this dish. And it's gonna blend in so well with the sauce as well as the pork. So uncooked winter melon actually tastes a bit like mm, cucumber and the sort of like an unripe um, honeydew. Let's go on to the peach. So with the peach, I'm just gonna give this a little slice. Now I'm gonna keep the skin because I want the color. Just gonna set it aside as well. I'm using a pork belly over here. If you don't like pork, you can use lamb. Lamb tastes really good with this as well. Blanch my pork first. After two minutes, we're gonna take the pork out. And then, we dry it with the kitchen towel. Now with the pork belly, I am gonna add a bit of signature chili paste. This is so that it'll give it another layer of flavor. To that, I'm adding a bit of salt as well. All right, now let's pour in some oil to our saucepan. Pop in the pork belly. Look at how amazing it looks. Now, without any oil, I'm just gonna lightly pan fry my winter melon over here. Winter melon is done. Next one, let's add some colors to it. Add a bit of parsley. Now, we're gonna add a bit of our chocolate sauce over here. Finally, I'm gonna add a bit of pandan powder to it. Right guys, time to tuck in. It's got like a nice bitterness from the dark chocolate that we use and a subtle sweetness and a hint of spiciness from the Maktuk sweet chili paste. So when you blend them all together, it's like a theme park. It's kind of odd that the winter melon as well as the peach once it blended with the pork and the um, chocolate sauce that we created with Marto sweet chili paste. It gives like a, yes, you have like a nice fruity flavor, but it also have a sort of like a coconutty essence to it, which is so cool because we didn't add any coconut to it and it's wow. So guys, if you know anyone who is really adventurous in food and they love chocolate, you should really tag them in this video. If you've got any questions or suggestions, just leave them in the comments down below and I'll see you next time. ta -ra! So because it's World's Chocolate Day, so I thought of treating myself for all the hard work I've done and bought myself a box of Lodin chocolate. So I'm gonna call my friend Steven and ask him a bit about chocolate. So tell us a bit about Lodin chocolate. Well, Lodin chocolate is a passion for taste and discovery. So which is your favorite flavor? It has to be a Japanese yuzu. It's a really wonderful citrus fruit. It's like a cross between a mandarin and a lime. What is the best way to actually enjoy chocolate? It's sharing with friends, of course. I'm gonna enjoy my chocolates now. I'll talk to you next time. Um, be safe and look after each other.
ん、いやもうあ、パワーウィッシュライ、エブリデイ、スウォーチョコレートデイ、アスウォー。